Hi everybody, my name is Francis Almendares. Welcome back. Happy to be here again for Glacé on the Go at Home. Uh, we're in section two, expressing myself. And for this project, project number two, um, we're gonna talk about the world on the other side of our windows. Since we're spending a lot of time indoors because of the pandemic, uh, I wanted to think about what's outside and what awaits us hopefully in the near future when we're able to go back outside. But in the meantime, while we're inside, uh, let's take advantage and observe out of our windows and let's see what's out there. Inspiration um, from um, this large scale sort of tapestry collage um, work by Trenton Doyle Hancock. And the title of it is Color Flash for Chad and Chu, Paris, Texas in 72. And so this work is made using felt and there's lots of trees and in the foreground and in kind of uh, grids of patterns, um, grids and patterns of different colors in the background. So it's like an autumn scene or a landscape, uh, lots of vibrant colors. Um, and we're gonna create something similar to that using felt. But uh, before we move, move on, I wanna talk about like the size of this piece because it's 10 feet by 24 feet. So 10 feet tall by 24 feet wide. Now that's huge. And why that's important or why I wanna talk about that is because I would like for you to think about how the size of this, um, how it would make you feel or how do you think it would make you feel if you're able to be in front of it? Something of this size. I think it would be incredible to experience in person when, when you're able to come to the museum. Um, but in the meantime, let's think about um, making something a little bit larger. Um, so using the materials that come in your packages, such as the paper and the glue stick and the felt and our scissors, we're gonna cut out shapes again and create another sort of collage um, but we're going to create a scene that we see from outside of our windows. Or you can imagine if, if what, what would you like to see out of your window? Let's, say, um, let's think about what we see when we see out of our windows. Do we see trees? Do we see uh, the sky? You know, it may change depending on if we're, ground, if we're on ground level or if we're um, on a second or third floor, it just depends where, where we live. Are we seeing nature or are we seeing more buildings? Are we seeing people? What are they doing? Are they walking? Are they working? Is there construction going on? Are there any cars? So a lot, any of these things could be happening. So I want you to think about what's happening outside of your window and let's create a scene. Let's depict it with the felt and the materials that we have in front of us. So I'm going to go ahead and use this felt and start cutting out shapes again. I'm going to cut out a long triangle, but I'm first going to see and make sure that it fits in the, in the paper that I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that, cutting into, into the felt. Um, you can also mix it up and, and use newspaper or you can use magazine or any kind of paper that that um, has the color that you maybe are looking for. So I'm gonna cut out these shapes and, and different thicknesses, different heights. Essentially, I'm, I'm trying to recreate trees. So I'm starting off with triangles uh, but then I'm going to try some other shapes as well. Let's see. I... For now, I'm just going to cut out shapes and then see how I can arrange things. Um, and if I like it, then I'll keep it. But if I don't, then I'll continue testing out different shapes and different colors. Let's see. So I'm cutting out um, similar shapes in 
different colors. So I started off with the lime green and then I moved more to the turquoise and just repeating the same shapes but in smaller versions so that they could be on the inside of the larger shape. So for like branches, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm cutting out these really thin strips and I keep moving the scissor back and forth just so, to create that sort of choppy uh, texture. Let's see what that looks like. And it's nice to see the combination of colors. What you could also do is uh, go outside for a walk if, you, if you're in the mood for it and if you're able to, and collect some, some leaves. There may be some on the ground or that you can just pick up and bring indoors. And so, if, if, if that is something that interests you, um, once you have some leaves, I have some here, um, if you can bring them in, just kind of look at the way um, that it's, the stem is attached to the leaf part and, and kind of try and imitate that with the, the tree that you're creating with the felt. The other thing you can do is you can, if you find some twigs, for example, uh, you can begin to place it on the felt and add it as part of the tree. I think it would look interesting in these skinnier trees. So I'm going to try that. Let's see this one. So now that I have some of my trees made, I'm trying to figure out how I want the background. And I found this image of a cloud. So if any of you want to pull in some images from a magazine or from a newspaper, you're able to do so. trying to cut along the shape of the cloud and interesting ways. And see what that's like. Let's see what that's like. At this point, I'm going to start to fill in the background by with using marker, like a Sharpie or pencil you can use, or pen if you don't have a marker. But what I'm going to do is start just filling in. So I'm using the cutout shapes and different colors that I saved and um, I'm sticking them in the picture just as decorative and to fill in the space. The piece by Trenton Doyle Hancock, we see that he uses up all of the space. It's very busy and very colorful 
and there's a lot of pattern and rhythm happening. So that's what I'm trying to emulate here by applying more shapes and colors and lines. And you can continue with the magazines or even construction paper just by cutting out shapes. They don't need to be um, geometric shapes. They can be organic. They don't need to be straight edge lines or anything like that. But as I did earlier, you can also just draw it in with a marker or you can do a combination which is what I've what I have going on here a combination of things and it's probably nicer if you tear because you get this nice texture and you get to see the white of the paper outlining the color of the page that's pretty neat there's still a lot of wide space in between and around, but we're slowly getting um, much closer to filling up the entire space. Of, and essentially that's what we want to do. We want to cover up as much of the, the space as possible, even if it's just color eating in, maybe you can color in, or, or you can continue cutting out different shapes and lines and just adding them as sort of branches or, or as sort of patterns or, um, you know, however you prefer to do this, but you wanna fill up the space and make it very busy and colorful and rhythmic. And you, at the same time, we, we have a lot of texture going on here. We have the texture of the felt, the texture from the twigs, from the paper, from the tear of the paper, et cetera, et cetera. But thank you for spending time with me and, and I hope you enjoy this project and create a very wonderful, vibrant landscape.